going to borrow one of his lyrics. Brad Rample, High Valley, is joining us next on Hockey Net in Canada. Dear life, what's your plan? Is where I'm supposed to be, right where I am. The Grand Old Opry's the right answer, but it's Hockey Night next. Cause I'm never not, never not. Every minute you're my first and my last stop. I'm gonna love you till this whole spinning world stops. Yeah, the truth is if you want it, we're Commentators clothing provided by Jack Victor. We're back. Boston Pizza, Molson Canadian, bringing you Call the Shot every Saturday night for a chance to win amazing prizes. Brad Rempel, High Valley, La Crete, Alberta, 700 Ks north of Edmonton, is where you grew up dreaming of being Joseph Wall tonight. He's playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs <laughs> in Buffalo. Can you imagine what he's feeling right now? And yeah, honestly, I can. Brett, yeah, we're, we're, we met at the CCMAs. Uh, you're just a really special talent representing uh, your province uh, in music. And we'll get to that in a second. But what about hockey? How did it happen that you love hockey? Man, I think you have to, right? If you're from Alberta, honestly, if you're from Western Canada, that's just what we did. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't too good at it. But I think I learned early, early on. Jordan Tutu helped me kind of understand that if you allow 21 goals in one game, you're probably <laughs> not the best goalie and you should figure out a different career path. So... But I love it. I've, I've read Gretzky's autobiography, you know, the big, massive, Bible-sized autobiography. I've read that one front to back <clears throat> three times, I think. I met you first when Paul Brandt went into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame at the CCMAs, and he told <clears throat> me that when he spotted you 14 years ago, he got an invitation to go see you perform at a gospel, a little church in Saskatchewan at the CCMAs. Yeah. And he said, I, I felt like Glenn Sather seeing Gretzky for the first time or Ren Blair, Bobby Orr. And he goes on to say, I knew that with his work ethic and his talent, he'd be at the Grand Old Opry. So maybe a bit about Paul Brandt. Man, Paul Brandt, I mean, obviously he didn't have to say that. He's the nicest guy in the world. And I remember playing that show. Going back, we had some CDs for sale. I don't think anybody bought them. But uh, we had a few for sale. And he, um, he left a little business card or something like that and said, Hey, could uh, you call this number, please? And we called it, of course, because uh, it was from Paul Brandt. And um, it's, he said, as soon as we called him, he's like, hey, would you mind going on tour, opening up for me for a few shows? And that was an easy yes and such a life-changing move right there. You're going to play Young Forever at the top of the clock here. Uh, your boys uh, obviously loved hockey, uh, now really great at basketball, all sports, as you would. You're living in Tennessee, yeah, just outside Nashville. So we'll show Drew here, but tell me about your kids. Yeah, Drew and Cash, Drew's 12, that's him making that layup right there. He um, starting QB for our 8th grade football team as a 6th grader, so he's, uh, he's doing good. I didn't teach him any of that stuff, basketball, football, and baseball. Cash is 10 years old, and uh, Gary Roberts already taught him how to do pull-ups, so he's pretty jacked for a 10-year-old. And uh, my goal in life is just to keep up with my kids for as long as possible until uh, that's... That's uh, no bueno anymore, but right now I'm, I'm trying my best. Well, Gary, you do train with Gary, right? You, you followed his... Uh, I've trained with him a few times, and then he just sends me workouts, and I try and do what he says, and uh, I'm trying to eat what he says, too. That's the big one. He's only the best. Okay, so we're both Alberta boys, and to show how much we have in common, we both guested with Tim McAuliffe this week, and he'd been doing a whole thing all week long after the Connor McDavid goal last Friday night. Yeah. What's the greatest goal you've ever seen? So watch this. Yeah, do, do, okay. you, you won't believe this. Here's you, and then it'll be me. Okay. My personal favorite is Pavel Bure double overtime. Oh. Um, locker side on Mike Vernon. I have a favorite goal. Tara wasn't really too uh, committal yet on a goal for oh, Friday, but nice. I have Pavel Bure's overtime winner game seven against Calgary. Isn't that unbelievable? That's un <laughs> wow. That's crazy. So, yeah. We, okay. We kindreds, whether you realized it or not. That is unbelievable. So, Brad, um, yeah, did you have the number 10 jersey? Because I did have that jersey. At Kess's house. The last thing, yeah. we only have 20 yeah. seconds. Oh, but yeah. What was that experience like with Riker and uh, with Cruz? The arm yeah, oh, it was unbelievable. Those, those great kids and the dads are great too. I, I love Anson and Colby and the great guys. Yeah, you, you can recognize it. Time count, you're special. Yeah. Okay. Young Forever, High Valley, opens Hockey Night in Canada. Next.